What's up guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC tutorial. I'm your host, Gilly Gill. Today we're gonna talk about speed. When it comes to being a great editor, not only do you have to know your program, but you need to be fast at it. Being an efficient editor is something that you should strive to become, and you're gonna be able to do that by using keyboard shortcuts. Any of the actions that you can complete with your mouse and clicking around the interface, you can also do by using keyboard shortcuts. So let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so with a blank program, we're gonna have to import footage. And if you watched the last tutorial, you know that we can do that by just pressing Command or Control I. That's going to bring up your import dialog box, and this is where we will choose the footage that we want to use for this lesson. Okay, so we've imported some clips, and now it's time for us to start arranging things, and this is where our playback controls keyboard shortcuts will come into play. So we can use spacebar to start and stop recording, and we also know that we can use I to select our endpoint, press spacebar to play it back, spacebar again to stop, and O to make our outpoint. Pretty simple stuff. We went over this before, but those keyboard shortcuts are super duper important. And as you can see in the timeline, we do not have a sequence, so we're gonna have to create a sequence, and I'm okay with using the settings based on this clip. So we'll just drag it right from that window down to the timeline. And we also know that we can bring in clips to the timeline by pressing period above, but we have to drag it in or create a sequence in order to be able to start using that. Now for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and skim through all these clips and put together a quick sequence with some cuts so that I can show you the next one. And if you haven't realized by now, this is like footage from a recent vlog and uh, well, I mean, just for the sake of demonstration, we can use that. You'll notice in the timeline, it's pretty full already. We want an overview of the entire timeline, and right now we can't see that, which leads me to our next keyboard shortcuts, plus and minus. If you hit minus while you're within the timeline, that's gonna essentially zoom out. And alternatively, if you hit plus, you can zoom in. Plus and minus is a great way to go from bird's eye view to very precise and where we wanna be at on the timeline, frame by frame. So now that we can see all of our clips at like a bird's eye view, we can start making a couple changes. Let's pick an exact spot. Let's say right when my hand gets to the drawer, that's where we're gonna pick up on this shot. We could use C to grab the razor tool and cut right there, or, and I'm gonna use Command Z to undo. Probably the most widely recognized keyboard shortcut in the world. Press V to go back to our selection tool. And instead of grabbing the razor tool, we can use a keyboard shortcut. So in this instance, we're gonna take from here to the beginning of the clip, and we don't want that. So all we have to do in this instance is press Q. So what Q does, we'll take all the footage from that clip right up to the playhead and omit it. And the same thing goes for W. If we want just this part of the clip and after omitted, all we have to do is press W. And you can see that it just brings all this footage from the right and tucks it right up there and gets rid of that unwanted tail of clip C0019. But what if we wanna cut a chunk out of the middle of the clip? So Q will take all of this stuff away and W will take all this stuff away, but what, what if we want the middle? So what we would do in this case, zoom in with plus, we have to take a section out of the middle and we're not gonna grab our razor tool because we're using keyboard shortcuts. We can use Control or Command K, which will cut the clip right at the playhead. And then we'll scoot up a bit, Control or Command K again. So this little part of C0019, we don't want, we can right click and go ripple delete. And that will take that little chunk out of the middle and get rid of it. So this is nice, it took out that piece of the clip that we didn't want and brought everything that was to the right up against the part of C0019 that we do want. Now, let me give you a little tip as far as navigating through the timeline frame by frame. If you just use your left or right arrows, you can go frame by frame up and down the timeline. And if you hold shift, that changes that to increments of five frames. So five, 10, 15, 20. And you can also use up or down to skip to the next cut. So up will take you backwards in the timeline to the next cut, and down will take you ahead in the timeline 
to the next cut. So let's zoom out a bit and say, we wanna insert something right here before clip 18. We can use A, which is track select forward, and click right on that clip, and everything from that point forward in the timeline is selected. You can then click and drag everything together. And let's pretend we just want this part of this clip up here. And then we can put it right there in its place, grab all those clips again, and put them back. A is a great way to make sure that any of the changes that you've made ahead of time in the timeline all move together. It's very frustrating if you grab just one clip and you move it and there was an associated audio track that's below it you didn't see, then you have to retime it. It just helps you to use A. Track select forward is something that I use a lot. And so the adverse of that is if you use shift and A, that is track select backwards and it does pretty much the same thing but backwards. Okay, so those are a few of my commonly used keyboard shortcuts. I hope they can help you speed up your workflow and make you a better, faster editor. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for the next one. Slap the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you aren't already with the notifications on. And I'll see you on the next one.